What's up, YouTube? It's Dom Universe. Feeling good right now. I'm outside. The sun out. It's breezy out here. I'm out here in nature. Uh, hope y'all doing good as well. Hope y'all doing great. But today's topic, we about to talk about dopamine. So I told y'all dopamine. I told y'all a little bit about dopamine, but dopamine is responsible for a lot of things in your life. It's 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 an important aspect in our life. It's, it's your reward system and the things that you indulge in depends whether or not you have balanced dopamine levels so first off let's talk about sex real quick uh, sex right and when you have sex you get do you get a dopamine boost now with sex that's a good dopamine boost but if we say if we talking about you like to have sex like y'all you and your partner or who you have sex period a lot you are just giving yourself unnecessary dopamine levels and this can f the birds up there wilding but anyway uh it gives you unnecessary dopamine and when you get an unnecessary dopamine you are you are causing an imbalance in your brain remember your brain is supposed to it's it's one of your most powerful tools remember that it's one of your you need to find balance so you got to get you got to try to do everything in moderation really you really supposed to do everything in moderation but i mean if you want to be as powerful as you can be you can try to abstain from sex and because when you do have sex you are weakening your kundalini energy that's why i say you're not supposed to have sex unless you using it for creation but i'm not going to tell you not to have sex i mean if you want to weaken your kundalini energy you can have sex as much as you want it's a sacred bonding experience like when you have sex you sharing a piece of your soul your spirit so wherever whenever whenever your uh wherever y'all at y'all have a wherever you are you and that person are y'all have a, a piece of each other's spirit attached to y'all spirit because you shared it with them during sex it don't matter if you were in love if you were with that person or not you sharing a piece of your spirit when you have sex with somebody but anyway this is about dopamine so Another thing about uh, that ties into sex is PMO. PMO is uh, porn, masturbation, and orgasm. Porn, you raising your dopamine unnecessarily. Yo, since your dopamine is your reward system, you really supposed to work for your uh, the optimal or the good dopamine levels, the good dopamine boost, because it's a reward system nothing comes easy right nothing comes easy and what does comes easy you know what they say about that easy come easy go right so that's with anything in life now when you watching porn this is gain giving you too much dopamine it's, it's a big dopamine boost and you can feel it in your mind this is why i know a lot of people who who have a uh, if you try quitting porn for like a few a few days like let's say a week and you went back and watched porn again you probably felt a tightness in your brain you probably felt cloudiness that's because when you watch porn it's like it's like the images does like it's like a drill it's like it's drilling through your neural pathogens your neural pathways and you create anything you do you create neural pathways and the more you do whatever it is it strengthens them neural pathogens but anytime you learning something new or you doing something, you create more neural pathogens. So with, with the uh, watching porn, we know that the images is like burning itself into your brain and it's drilling through your uh, pathogens. It, it makes you, it trigger a, like this reaction in your brain where it's like, okay, I'm more attracted to this than the real world. It does that over time. So you 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 getting a quick fix off of it mentally because you watching people uh you watching people do things with each other or do something sexual so you didn't work for that dopamine boost so you get an unnecessary dopamine this this can mess up your brain uh what else masturbation you are if you're not masturbating you gotta it's a way you supposed to masturbate you're not supposed to just masturbate to make you. You're not supposed to do anything for satisfaction. You know, like you're not supposed to masturbate to satisfy yourself. That's dopamine. That's a unnecessary dopamine boost. There's side effects and benefits. Now, I do know that masturbating can help you prevent prostate cancer 
and empty your prostate of built up fluid and same for the testicles so that is why that is one benefit of uh masturbation that is i i will say the main benefit i will say it'll give you but if you're not masturbating just for that if that's not your intention if that is not your intention then you are masturbating in the animalistic state lower three chakras equals reincarnation now uh orgasm it feels good when you have an orgasm right it's a dopamine boost I learned I heard that you can use that feeling to uh, manifest something so at the point of orgasm use that feeling to manifest something because you know feeling is it is it adds weight to you manifesting things into your life so that being said <laughs> that don't mean go masturbate I don't recommend anybody masturbate but I'm not gonna tell you not to now with food Food boosts our uh, food boosts our dopamine. Now it depends how much you like to do uh, eat eat. If you a person that like to eat and you eat eat on random times of the day and you like to eat a lot within your twenty four hour frame, you giving yourself unnecessary dopamine. And what this will do is it'll be you probably it's probably hard for you not to go eat. You probably eat just to eat. You probably don't be hungry. You think you hungry. And then you go eat just to eat. You don't pay attention to your senses when you eat and either. You don't masticate your food. When you eat and you're supposed to pay attention to your sense, to your to you tasting it. Often, often people like to listen to music and watch TV while they eating. You not you really not supposed to do that because you not post, that means you are multitasking. That's that's one thing jobs make you do. Also, that's why jobs are bullshit as well because they make you multitask. You're not supposed to, when you multitask, you're putting your energy on more than one thing. Your energy supposed to be on one thing at a time. So if you're giving your energy to more than two things or trying, you are investing too much energy. You're giving too much energy. Remember, that's your currency. You got to treat it like a currency. You got to save your energy, protect your energy. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Back to what I was saying. When you eat too much, you giving yourself too much. Because really, humans don't have to eat. We don't have to eat. Especially if you sun gaze. If you doing sun gazing the correct... If you if you practice sun gazing in a way where you're trying to go... Where you're trying to change yourself from it. Which takes about like a few months. I think it takes... I want to... It's three to six months. Something or somewhere between there. And you stare at the sun every day and you increase the amount every day that you stare at the sun while grounding yourself. Increase the time, I think, by 5 to 10 seconds. Doing it on the right times, which is 30 minutes after sunrise and 30 minutes before sunset. Every day you do that for that amount of months, then your body will, you will be accustomed to taking nutrients from the sun. And after that, you will naturally or you can naturally become a breatharian. A breatharian is a, a person who survives without food. You don't because we really don't have to eat. We can take in energy from the sun. We take we can take in nutrition from the sun. We have a solar plexus chakra in our stomach. It's the third chakra. The sun gives us nutrients, vitamin D, testosterone, ETC. We don't got to eat anything. We There are people on this earth that's been going decades without eating anything. They're not malnourished. They don't look sick or anything. They look perfectly fine. They are in perfect condition. We don't have to eat. Food, you're not even, you're not even supposed to eat it for the taste. You're supposed to eat food for the benefits. So you don't have to eat. You can treat food like a treat. You get me? You can treat food like a treat. That would be a good dopamine boost. Like, you go to work, right? You come home, you have sex. That's a good dopamine boost. You go to work, come home. I mean, you you work, you got a lunch break at work. You work, eat. That's a good dopamine boost. Then you come home from work. What you eat after work? What you, you probably eat lunch during work, whatever. That's a good dopamine boost. When you, especially... If you instead of like if you like to do uh, marijuana, marijuana gives you a temporary dopamine boost. Actually, your dopamine is boost while boosted while you're high. 
So that's kind of unnecessary. But after you done being high, the dopamine boosts go down. So that's the tricky thing about dopamine when it comes to marijuana. Pardon me, somebody called me. But anyway, like I was saying, The tr that's the tricky thing about marijuana. It it, it raises your uh, it raises your dopamine temporarily, but unnecessarily in a way. And then when you not high no more, it goes down. Now, that mean during that time that it was raised for no reason is because it's raised the whole time you're high. You you just it's it's just held there in that spot. You like imagine it as a bar, and it's just held up here for no reason. That's like 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 straining something, like straining a muscle, pretty much. You straining your fucking brain. Uh, cause if you don't know, if you giving yourself too much dopamine, cause that's why us uh, weed and uh crack and cocaine is called dope, right? Because if you do this, if you look at the science, if you look at the studies. If you giving yourself too much dopamine from from things, your brain start to look like the same brain as a fucking meth head. On God, especially if you watch too much porn, your mind turns into the same. It looks very similar to the mind of a fucking meth head. It's it's crazy out here. Uh, yeah, that's why I say like you you should work for things. Like say you worked out first and then gave marijuana to yourself as a treat. Like you work out and then you eat afterwards, right? It's a treat. That's, that's a good dopamine boost. See, it, the things that are good for us is in a way bad for us. And it's the hardest to say no to. I know it's hard. That's why fasting is one of the most sacred and best things a human can possibly do. Fasting makes you strong as fuck mentally. It it it, it strengthens willpower and, and your discipline and your... uh. In a way, it can it can it can uh, benefit your uh, what's it called decision making skills. And matter of fact, speaking of willpower, I'm gonna make a video will, about willpower after this because that's important too. But uh, yeah, what was I gonna say? If now back to uh, PMO now with porn once again because this is another thing about porn. You staring into a screen. When you stare into a screen, you giving yourself unnecessary dopamine, depending on how long you do it. This is why it's not really good for kids, little kids, to be having phones and tablets and shit. It mess up their mind and their eyes. Uh, when you staring into a... Kids that's from two to five years old really not supposed to have more than an hour of screen time. Uh, it, teenagers all the way to adults adults and teenagers not supposed to have more than an hour more no more than two hours so one to two hours for adults and uh if you got a phone you like to be on your phone all the time it's best that you have night shift on your phone and if you have night shift on i read that your dreams are more vivid because it's better for your eyes and I, I, I've been having my phone on night shift for the, almost a week now. And that I'm telling you right now, my dreams have been more vivid, more clear to me. I've been having a better time in my dreams in the fourth dimension. Uh, but yeah, fasting makes you powerful as fuck. One thing I noticed about fasting is my mind. I have more mental clarity. My body feels more cleaner uh, and I feel more energetic. And when you and you if you do notice and notice how your body feel, if you do pay attention to your body, when you do eat, your body does feel groggy after you eat. Somebody brought something to my attention a month ago and told me uh, he was talking to me when I was at work and I was he was like uh, something about it was at this place I used to work. He said something about when is when you come to work. Or you uh, eat and then you go back to work and you get sleepy and you feel tired. And then it had dawned on me that that is why when I eat a lot of food uh, for breakfast or after, during the lunch break and I go back to working, I feel like I'm about to fucking fall over. I feel lazy. It, I'll be having to, it'll take me a while to catch back up because I work in, uh, I would work in uh, fast paced places and stuff like that, but. Yeah, that's that's what happens. So he brought that to my attention. 
you food is really not supposed to you really supposed to eat one time a day one time one time a day that's the best for your body because we don't wake up at 1 a.m right we don't wake up on the top of the fucking day 12 a.m we wake up er around like what some people wake up early in the morning like six some people wake up in the afternoon like 11 12 and we don't have a whole 24 hours when we wake up so when we do if we do eat like three meals then our body takes like what six hours to process it to uh digest it and you go to sleep at random times of the day you go to sleep at the end of the day your body didn't even have enough time to digest your third meal so then you go to sleep and your body has to try to digest and like process the food through your body right while you sleeping and that's a lot of energy on your body so yeah it's it's a lot of energy just for your body to digest your food drugs uh unnecessarily they unnecessarily raise your dopamine super high like that brain you are we already know drugs that mess up your mind it make your mind looks like it make your brain look fucking disgusting fasting though you, try fasting what i was trying to oh yeah what i was trying to say about fasting is one yeah more that i did notice is uh when i would wake up i would get right right to whatever i have to do in the morning instead of eating instead instead of when i eat at night because normally i do i uh i drive fast instead of inter intermittent intermittent fasting i drive fast i don't eat or drink for the whole 24 hours and uh sometimes i do intermittent because when i when i do intermittent i do go 24 hours between the first time i eat so let's say i ate at six o'clock in the morning I don't eat for the rest of the day until six o'clock the next morning. So that's a 24 hour time frame. But oftentimes I just don't eat or drink for the whole 24 hours. And that shit, if even one day, if you in tune with your body enough, if you do it for one day, you will notice the benefits, I promise you. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, caffeine also, um, raise your dopamine levels high as fuck for a long time it actually keeps your dopamine up and that's why when you see people who having sugar rushes and shit they look like a fucking like a, a dope fiend but yeah dope comes from the word dopamine you raising your dopamine up dopamine you uh if you if you giving yourself optimal dopamine uh rushes dopamine boosts then you you will be able to have a more balanced mind because remember your mind is a tool you need your mind in this life to help you ascend you have to have knowledge right you gotta learn how to use your mind right obviously i'm kind of dragging this right now but uh yeah that's pretty much it dom universe taking off i love y'all like subscribe peace